what should I do for contacting or getting someone for AI safety? So where can I find those kind of people? Um, so AI safety meaning like so so by AI safety, I usually mean just to be sure we mean the same thing. I usually mean like preventing catastrophic risks like extinction the risk the AI kills everyone. Okay. Um, and the field of AI ethics is um, is pretty distinct, which is like it it doesn't have to be because there are there are similarities in uh, between the fields, but it's just for historical reasons. The the, the people who care about uh, like biases and uh, uh, like misuse and yeah. things like that are pretty distinct from the people who care about catastrophic like uncontrollable AI. This is my basic point. When I talk, when I say about AI ethics, then I don't mean uh, like m forcing machine form ethics. Like as I said in my in my presentation as well, my point is to make machines have wisdom of their own or develop ethics of their own, develop wisdom of their own. That kind of research. So oh okay yeah. right so okay that's a different like, meaning of AI ethics. Yeah. That uh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, by yeah, ethics, yeah, I guess. Yeah, not I, with I don't ethics. actually know anyone who does that. <laughs> except you <laughs> yeah uh, and and again but i have also not for any people who are like working from a philosophical point of view in this topic most are working from a mathematical point of view in this topic or from a like computer science perspective but uh, again what i've been thinking we need a philosophical approach for this similar to how we need it for ai i'm, I'm trying to make as much connection with the like-minded people as i can and vice was very helpful like first of all thank you for that if i got to say as i, as I said yeah. in the event also it was very helpful for me to get started and to move forward but uh, yeah i need to say like mo most of them were from mathematical point of view that's a thing like empirical mm -hmm. research not the theoretical theoretical research. majorly using this website of ai safety trainings to attend different events to find different people but it is good for events not for people so that's how i'm doing it and also some other people that i tried to contact through like um, emails like most of them are not responding as well who seem to have similar kind of work in me like for yeah. for ai consciousness that artificial consciousness field so uh not ah, that, right. that yeah. did not work as well how can i perceive this field properly because i'm asking it to multiple people and but i cannot find a straightforward path to follow like which courses should i do which professor should i follow ah, which university right. should i go to oh, because currently i have there done my... no there's no consensus okay there isn't like like everyone like all the experts disagree um uh also your perspective is very non-typical um like i said i don't know anyone else is doing what you're doing and i don't i think you should keep pursuing what you believe in we want more people just pursuing their own ideas but also like as you notice pursuing your own ideas is tough very tough like it's, it's yeah okay. um so i think you should just focus instead of focusing on fitting in focusing on finding like your tribe within but the tribe one of the problem with this is i don't really know if what i'm doing is correct or does it really worth or is it sensible enough so i like if there would be some oh. professional who mm -hmm. could read my work and who could listen to my thoughts and tell how good i'm going or like is there any wrong for the time following all these things and also sometimes i need someone like to reflect my thoughts to or some with whom i can make my thoughts align in a more streamlined way with their guidance and all like so this we, kind don't, of we don't really have experts like like there's lots of people with strong opinions and as many of those people are smart people like i wouldn't say anyone is an expert but there are people who have been thinking about this longer than others and those are those are very hard to get a hold of because there's very few of them and yeah. everyone wants to talk to them yeah. and also like so the sort of research you're doing um i'm pretty skeptical that it will work okay uh but don't take this too harshly because like if like so so ssd is full of people telling each other is your research is useless basically my approach is that uh, like with humans like evolution did with humans similar thing we need to do with machines like we need to play evolution in this game 
and uh, as if for as with respect to evolution and as it done with human that it gave uh, like us only a system mechanism of empathy and uh, and social behavior by which we develop this ethics and wisdom and morale and values by which we can maintain mm-hmm. a flow and exist similar kind of thing we need to make machines t- to give them a situation in which a situation like something like empathy and socialism kind of thing ah. Th- that was for us so that machine themselves can develop okay. a kind of ethics for themselves and involving humans That's- because we just don't need to align humans with us but we also need to align humans with our pre-existing earth and animals and plants like that kind of alignment the problem is we're not really aligned with yeah plants. humans are not wise, like, wise properly itself yeah that's a big problem uh, so so it's not like like we're not, like evolution doesn't really incentivize being alignment wise. other than like with for cooperative reasons yeah obviously um, so evolution did not really fail it failed to a limit till where it can sustain <laughs> just like how evolution does most things like not best yeah. but good enough so that was what evolution took the way and but we cannot do that for like machines so we need to like i guess play evolution but better evolution evolved evolution so we just don't need to make a good enough system good enough for alignment as evolution did we need to make better ethics better than the human ethics like why do you think why do you think this method as opposed to like other methods because so other methods are coming get... to a dead end i have this is what i wrote in the paper Sega? dead end they're all coming to a dead end i i read about inter like when i was coming to the field in ais then i read about other oh. topics like briefly enough only but some papers what they are actually saying what is their core thing that they want to do so with explainable ai they are also coming to a dead end with the alignment thing that we are doing we are making mesa optimizers and inner alignment problems then some other alignment problem but it seems like after a limit we are coming to a dead end in every solution because it seems like we are but trying why, to why would no 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 why would this one work this one work because in this we are not uh, forcing machine to do itself we are uh, giving them wisdom like we are making them understand from themselves its evolution gave us empathy and socialism by which we first started caring about other humans and then that extended towards um, caring about animals in an indirect way and this is why like till in the earth like whoever cares about animals or good um, enough amount of uh, sustainability is given and preservation is given to animals it's because of empathy and socialism that is given uh, through evolution to us similar kind of things is with yeah, ai also we need to make them care about animals uh, we need to care uh, we need to make ai care about us at least as much or more than how much we care about animals and to do that we don't we cannot like animals cannot force us to care about them we, they are not mm-hmm. forcing us similarly we also cannot force something like an ai part to- of going through this path is to figure out what the path is like there aren't like it, like no one saw the line and yeah there aren't any like sure role models wait if you want professor senior supervision from someone who is an experienced researcher there's almost no one in, like that who's working on ai safety but if you know if you if you but because you already have an idea what you want to do so you can find adjacent academics and then you can try to steer yourself towards yeah, them i went in my university and talked to my machine learning professor like last year we had a uh-huh. course on machine learning and my professor searched in front of me for the whole university faculty and all but he cannot find anyone for ai safety itself like not with ethics but oh, yeah, no, ethics. Like, no yes that's so, what i'm saying there's so, almost no so should i go for so uh, like i should go for studying machine learning or I should go for studying philosophy like there isn't a, a, a nice trodden path to follow you you're looking for something that doesn't exist this is the research frontier um there isn't any like the, like everything is in chaos everything is like there's a lot of everyone is, is disagreeing the funding situation is is currently terrible is you know about these ai labs what kind of ai labs of the exist and where do they exist because in the last call i was thinking about going to germany for pursuing this then in the last call the person was in germany jonathan and he said that don't come to germany right. there is not much in germany you should go to london right so so yeah so mo- london and and san francisco bay area are the places where most things is happening but i actually don't know anything that does the thing you do here in london okay uh there's also like people scattered all over the world like the, the whole point of vice was that it, it, was, it did it did, it did achieve yeah. its purpose at least for me so yeah so yeah so i linked to asafety.world uh which is i would i suggest clicking tile mode actually okay. because it's a bit confusing um 
so this is actually a better better uh, like it doesn't look as cool but but if you go to time mode i already have that uh, linked bookmark in my in my laptop because mm -hmm. uh, i got a lot of references of it from the people in the vice so they were referencing about that i was about to go to that <laughs> website but i never went till now this is what the person on the like last was suggested that first i should get inside the field and do anything that i can get to do whatever interpretability or okay. any research and then like find my way to the specific field that i want to work this is the part that he's well, if you're, well so so if the people doesn't already have their own idea i recommend them to just try anything okay. but and, and but you already have your own ideas like yeah. you should just find people who who who, who are who, like excited about the same thing you are so learning to do research, there is like, there isn't like, the, it's not like you take the research course and now you know how to do research. It's just learning by doing all the way. Yeah, um, exactly. And, we, and before you sort of lead other people, we want you to have an idea of what you're doing. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so that's all. Thank you. Thank you for the call. And it was helpful. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Day. Bye. Good luck. Bye.